Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cabral Concept, diving in on episode 3541 of the show. Today we're going to be talking about why some people's immune system begins to dip and on their blood work it can show up as low white blood cells. Now, white blood cells on your blood work, just to let you know, it shows up as WBC. That is essentially the overall outlook on your immune system and how boosted it is or not. The typical metric or reading is somewhere between 3 and 10. Sometimes it goes as low as 2. But just know that we want to be in what we call a functionally healthy range. That means really not below a 4. And certainly we don't want to start to get above a 7, 8, anywhere in that range. And it's not that if you are, it's bad. What it means is that your system is activated, your immune system is activated for a particular reason. And then after that, below that, which we're not going to talk about here today, but you could show up as, you could look like, higher or lower levels of lymphocytes, eosinophils, etc. So we're not going to go through all those today, but I've gotten a lot of questions on why are my white blood cells showing low, like a below a four on my blood work. So we're going to go over all the different reasons today, some of them quite serious reasons, but I'll also share with you what it typically is in my practice. So having seen We've seen hundreds of thousands of people, and so we just have lots of data. So I like to say that it's not that these serious things can't be the reason. They absolutely can, and we'll talk about those. But the more likely reason is, and we'll talk about that on number three, and then as we get to number seven. All right, so let's dive right into it. Some of the serious ones can be right off the bat is bone marrow suppression. So if someone's going through chemotherapy or radiation or using specific immunosuppressive drugs, and we'll talk about this in number two for autoimmune issues, but you can see, because believe it or not, not just people with cancer take chemotherapy-based drugs. And I know that might seem kind of wild, but they actually recommend it in certain autoimmune issues. Again, not something I recommend, but conventional medicine does use them. So do keep in mind that there are real physiological reasons with bone marrow suppression or damage to bone marrow that can cause the low white blood cells and that can actually be cancer itself. So important that we don't dismiss any low white blood cell count that we do take it quite serious. Okay, the next one is the autoimmune based issues. This is an important one to look at as well. Because let's say that you're going through the rest of your blood work. I always say that no one marker on any of your blood work or your integrative health labs should ever be read in isolation. If you're doing that, you're taking it out of context. So what we want to look at is also on your blood work, are you showing high for RA factor or ANA? or TPO antibodies. So it could be like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or Hashimoto's. Like there's all sorts of other reasons why do you have an autoimmune issue um, specifically? All right, so we wanna look at that. That's important to look at that. And going back to maybe bone marrow, if you wanted to look at that, not just in isolation, you might say, okay, is there any sign or any signs of anemia? Any signs of maybe lymphoma that you've been diagnosed with or told that you might have or family history and multiple myeloma. All right, so those are really important that we look at that. I will say that you can also see suppressed white blood cells in cases like hepatitis. So if you've ever been diagnosed with that, with that liver-based issue, with HIV, tuberculosis, and sepsis, I mean, that's a serious medical condition. You might also have a co-infection leading to immune system issues, again, showing lower white blood cell production. And I will say that white blood cells are produced to help fight off infection. So keep in mind, why don't I, I'm just going to hit it right now. One of the most common causes I see is people are dealing with viruses. They're reason why some people are lower on white blood cells, myself included, when I was 17 years old to 19 years old, I went to over two dozen different of the best medical specialists in Boston, and they had no idea what was going on with me, literally no idea, because they didn't do a lot of these integrative health tests, like looking at food sensitivities and yeast overgrowth and SIBO and parasites and H. pylori. They didn't look at you know mineral deficiencies. But anyway, Again, I'm not upset about that. It was part of my journey. Like that's just who I am, probably who I was meant to be. And it is part of the journey. But I will say that it was, I mean, it could have been easily discerned that I had low white blood cells because I was dealing with H. pylori, 
I was dealing with Epstein-Barr virus, and that was draining my immune system. So other people might be dealing with cytomegalovirus, right? CMV, they might be dealing with HPV. Uh, so again, any virus can really chronically wear down your white blood cells. Important to understand that, and you always ask a client or yourself, am I also dealing with a co-infection that weakens the immune system? All right, the next one is this. If you just got off a boat or you're taking antibiotics, some of these antibiotics and sulfur-based sulfa based drugs, uh, anti-thyroid-based drugs can all lower your white blood cell count. So just make to make sure to check, is could this medication that I'm taking, simple search, be lowering my white blood cell count? Okay. Uh, in our practice, we see quite often heavy metals lowering white blood cell count. Now that could be lead, mercury, and aluminum. Those are the ones that we mainly see, cadmium, arsenic, possible, but it's lead, mercury, aluminum that we see lowering those white blood cells. I would absolutely run a minerals and metals test or a complete toxic heavy metals test. Now, all of those can be found at just stephencabral.com slash labs or stephencabral.com slash shop. That just takes you over to Ecolife. Really important to look at that. Chemical sensitivities in general, if you have a lot of toxic exposure, let's say you work in a chemical plant or an auto body shop or things where you we've seen over and over people being exposed to all sorts of different chemicals this could weigh again on the immune system and really wear down on those white blood cells there are a few congenital based conditions but honestly if all of a sudden you're 42 years old and you see your white blood cell now start to be on the lower side, probably not congenital based. You can still look into it, but you would have saw that most likely years, years previous to that. All right, other causes that we see in our practice is, and this is big, chronic stress. So let's say that you are, let's just say like myself, for example, I had a newborn baby, I was already running one practice. I opened a second practice. I invested all of my family's like savings into this very large functional medicine center in Boston. I wasn't sleeping at night because my baby wasn't really sleeping at night and, and I was working all day. So it's like, yeah, that stress is going to lower your white blood cell count. All right. So it's like, also no, are you in a highly stressed situation? Now, fortunately, that didn't last forever. It did last for a year, right? 10 months to 12 months uh, for all of that to just kind of settle in, but it's a lot. And so that will lower biological age. That will increase rate of aging, like if you're doing, if you're studying high performance health. So just take that into account. That's the season of life you're in. We want to mitigate that as much as possible, but also we're all humans living the human experience, right? And I don't get to escape that just because I know that, you know what? You probably should sleep a little bit more. You sh probably should, right? I, yeah, I know that and I know that I should. And so what I had to do at that time was say, if sleep is not going to be the thing that I'm able to do right now, what I need to do is dial in the rest of the de-stress protocol. And I did. And, and everything was fine, right? So just kind of keep all of that in mind. Another one is alcohol use. If you're drinking alcohol four or five times a week, absolutely that can lower white blood cell count. Like no doubt about it. I would be interesting to see, interested to see, because I don't know if it can, if THC lowers white blood cell count. I actually don't have the research or information on that. I wonder if there have been multiple studies done on that. I would love to be able to see it. All right, sometimes thyroid disease, Hashimoto's, et cetera, but that's an autoimmune issue, right? So we can kind of bucket that in the second one. Adrenal insufficiency, people who have low cortisol output. Again, like myself back in the day, low cortisol output, I had Addison's disease. I also had autoimmune issues. I also had Epstein-Barr virus, right? So it's like, yeah, a lot of those things were causing me to have like a 2.8, 2.2 for white blood cells. That's extremely low. That is, that's why my doctors were worried. Do I have cancer, right? Do I have HIV? Do I have something like that, which I, you know, I shouldn't, right? But Let's just find out. And so they ran those tests. And when I came back negative on them, they were at a loss. They're like, I have no idea why this 17-year-old has white blood cells of a, in the twos. You know, that's super low. The other thing, which, again, they did not look for, some doctors do today, of course, we look for it, is malnutrition. So are you low on your certain vitamins and minerals? So what vitamins and minerals might those be? Very specifically, zinc and copper, B12 and folate really important, right? It can be, like it's possible that it can be iron and vitamin C is only a cofactor. That would be it. But yeah, it's, it's possible that it's iron, but it's usually B12 or B9, which is folate. 
uh, zinc or copper. And you know, if you had to go with the three that can lead more towards anemia and white blood cells, it's B12, B9 and copper. All right. So, and then iron again, absolutely. But you need to test your iron and that should hopefully be on the same blood work. So if you look at your total iron binding capacity, your ferritin, et cetera, those should be good. And if they're good, well, then you can rule out low iron. Keep in mind, I did a whole podcast on what your iron profile should be. So why don't I link that up for you today at stephencabral.com slash 3541. Here's what I want to leave you with here today, that if it's lifestyle based, which it probably is, you know, I, I, again, I want to say, I, I can't give you medical advice, medical diagnosis, medical treatment plans, medical cure, but here's what I want to share with you. It's most likely not cancer, right? But it could be like there's, but you would see other factors. So again, we want to look at that. It's also why I recommend the non-contrast MRIs, the no radiation. I recommend the cancer-based blood work. I recommend that. But this is a good factor to look at. I'm just saying in my practice, it's usually viral-based. It's usually overtraining, undersleeping, so your body's exhausted. It's alcohol use. And sometimes it's even over fasting, which is another stressor in the body that can lower white blood cells. So we look at that. We look at the nutrient deficiencies just by running something like the starter kit at stephencabal.com slash shop. That's the vitamin tox test. But also always remember, I'm just giving you examples of what we do in our practice with people all over the world. You can work with your local naturopathic doctor. You can work with your local integrative health practitioner. I'm good with that. I always just want to make sure you have the knowledge, you have the education to make those right choices for you and your loved ones. Hopefully this was helpful. All the show notes, all the other pertinent podcasts will be at stephencabral.com slash 3541. Take care, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.